7. We're getting a bit of a break from the rain right now, right, Chris? Yes, this week we'll see a drier stretch until the weekend with more rain coming, but not like the rains that we saw on Saturday. Remember, our Saturday rains looking at the afternoon and evening with that higher flood potential was fairly well forecasted and well advertised days in advance. We are expecting rainfall into the weekend, but not those type of totals. The system that brought in that rainfall Saturday and the hail yesterday is finally starting to move off in the Gulf waters, and we are finally starting to see clearing of our skies. So very pretty evening after what had been kind of a gloomy day overall. Temperature is 57 degrees and less wind. What had been fairly windy, breezy conditions most of the day today have started to subside. Low 60s out west, but out west we saw more sunshine, whereas we stayed under the overcast skies for the better part of the day. And most of the day today we did spend in the 50s, only briefly hitting 60 degrees at Kenner and dew points in the 40s. Now the dew points probably not going to come down much more than they are right now. We do have a northerly wind, but even dew points, the moisture north of us is about the same as what we have now. So this is about what we'll feel like over the next couple of days. Maybe a little bit of a damp chill to the air during the nights, but quickly starting to see those dew point values coming up. And for the weekend, I would call a little bit muggier. Winds right now light out of the north, but we will eventually start to see a wind shift, which brings back another pattern change, which brings back rain chances. So this week, kind of the final stretch to Mardi Gras will stay mostly dry. Even Friday, only looking at about a 10, 20% chance, but warmer with high temperatures by the end of the week back into the 70s. Scattered showers, thunderstorms are likely on Saturday and Sunday. Not a washout, but a wetter few days, including Lundi Gras morning. And again, this is all subject to change as we're still fine tuning the details. Good news, though, is that that rainfall early Lundi Gras morning would be with a front where we buy Mardi Gras will be clear and dry and cool. So actually looking for very pleasant weather going into Fat Tuesday. Our disturbance is clearing away, but our pattern is already starting to shape up to changes to come. We're starting to see that southwesterly flow, California, the flooding rains. This pattern is going to be headed our way, not the flooding rains, but that cloud cover, which starts to increase thanks to that southwesterly flow. Low. As we head toward the end of the week, we're going to start to see another developing upper trough. As that moves closer, it creates more instability on the eastern side. That is what starts to send the rainfall our way and will likely be with us all weekend long. Not a complete washout every day, but certainly higher rain chances. That continues into early Monday before that system finally sweeps on through. So we're getting a rough idea of our rain chances, probably beginning Saturday afternoon, evening, and at times maybe a few days downpours here and there likely to start Sunday morning and continue for much of the day. Not a complete deluge all day long, but certainly a, a much wetter pattern for Sunday as opposed to Saturday. Then that rainfall early Monday. Here's Lundy Gras probably tapering off by the midday early afternoon and then drier for Monday night and for Tuesday afternoon. Now, as far as rainfall totals go, we're not talking about nearly the totals that we were expecting from this past Saturdays quarter of an inch down toward the coast and even in the metro area to maybe an inch plus as you head farther north. Higher rainfall totals are likely a little bit farther north of us than that. Again, we are still very much in the early stages, but definitely all the indications even as of last week were pointing to a wetter pattern going into this coming weekend. This one disturbance moving on. We're seeing those clearing skies, which will continue through the night. That'll allow us to get into the 40s overnight tonight, so a chilly night and a cool start to the day tomorrow, but with more sunshine, I think Think more of us will see mid 60s during the day Tuesday afternoon. Cloud cover starts to increase later in the week and eventually that starts to lead to better rain chances. So we'll keep that mention of an isolated shower Friday, but I think Friday night parades will have no issues and really we're kind of getting too late for any big changes to the parades, nor do I think we're expecting any kind of rainfall that would uh, necessitate any changes to the parades this weekend. More of just a nuisance rain, so have the rain gear handy. That rain continues into early Monday, then drying out for Fat Tuesday.